Have you ever wondered why time seems to fly when you're having fun, but drags when you're bored? Quite curious, isn't it? We often chalk it up to our minds playing tricks on us. Yet, what if it's more than just a mental game? What if the speed of time could actually change? Intriguing, isn't it? That's the beauty of time dilation. But what if I told you that this isn't just a perception, but a scientific phenomenon known as time dilation? Time dilation is not just a whimsical concept, but a fundamental principle of physics. Now let's delve into this fascinating topic. Imagine you're in a car, cruising down the highway at a high speed. To you, inside the car, time seems to be ticking away normally. But to an observer standing still on the roadside, your car, and consequently time within it, seems to be moving slower. This is a simple way to visualize time dilation, a concept that arises from Albert Einstein's theory of relativity. Einstein's theory of relativity, proposed in the early 20th century, revolutionized our understanding of time and space. It consists of two parts, the special theory of relativity and the general theory of relativity. The special theory, which we'll focus on here, introduced the concept of time dilation. According to this theory, the laws of physics are the same for all non-accelerating observers, and the speed of light in a vacuum is the same for all observers, regardless of their motion or the motion of the light source. Now, if the speed of light is always constant, then time and space must be flexible to accommodate this constancy. This is where time dilation comes into play. Imagine our car scenario again, but this time, the car is a spaceship moving at a speed close to that of light. To an observer on Earth, the spaceship seems to be moving very slowly, almost as if time inside the spaceship has slowed down. This is because the faster an object moves, the slower its time appears to pass relative to a stationary observer. But remember, to the people inside the spaceship, time seems to be passing normally. It's only when they return to Earth that they realize they've aged less than the people they left behind. This is a theoretical demonstration of time dilation, and it's been tested and confirmed in numerous experiments. Just as a fast-moving car seems to slow down time, so can high speeds or gravitational forces in the universe. So, time dilation is not just a sci-fi trope, but a very real, albeit mind-bending, aspect of our universe. Scene script. Time dilation sounds like a concept straight out of a sci-fi movie, doesn't it? But it's more real than you might think. Let's take a look at some real-life examples where time dilation comes into play. Consider our GPS systems. These satellites orbiting Earth are not just guiding us to our next coffee shop. They are also constantly adjusting for the effects of time dilation. Yes, you heard that right. The clocks on these satellites tick slightly faster than clocks on Earth due to their speed and distance from the gravitational field. Hence, to keep our GPS systems accurate, these differences caused by time dilation are corrected regularly. Another fascinating example of time dilation in action is the Hafel-Keating experiment. Back in the early 1970s, scientists Joseph Hafel and Richard Keating took atomic clocks, the most precise timekeepers we have, on a world tour. They flew these clocks around the world on commercial airliners, while identical clocks stayed behind at the United States Naval Observatory. After the journey, they compared the times. The results were astonishing. The traveling clocks, subject to high speeds and varying gravitational forces, ran slower than their stationary counterparts. This was a direct confirmation of the time dilation effects predicted by Einstein's theory of relativity. Or consider the case of astronauts. When they return from missions, they are technically a bit younger than their counterparts on Earth. It's not a fountain of youth situation, but rather a subtle time shift due to the effects of time dilation. The difference might be minuscule, but it's there, and it's real. So time dilation isn't just a concept for the pages of theoretical physics textbooks or a plot device in a science fiction novel. It's a phenomenon that engineers and scientists have to account for in practical applications, from the operation of our GPS systems to space travel. So time dilation is not just a theoretical concept, but a reality that we have to account for in our daily lives. Now that you understand what time dilation is, let's debunk some common misconceptions. One of the biggest misconceptions people have is that time dilation is essentially a ticket to time travel into the past. However, this couldn't be further from the truth. Time dilation, as described by the theory of relativity, 
means that time can pass at different rates for different observers. It doesn't mean that time can be reversed or that we can hop into a time machine and revisit the days of the dinosaurs. Another popular myth is that time dilation is a purely theoretical concept with no real-world applications. But did you know that we rely on time dilation in our everyday lives? Without accounting for time dilation, satellite-based technologies like GPS would be wildly inaccurate, causing chaos in everything from your morning commute to international logistics. People also often believe that time dilation only happens in the far reaches of space or in the vicinity of a black hole. While it's true that these extreme conditions can cause significant time dilation, it's also a phenomenon that happens right here on Earth. In fact, scientists have observed time dilation in laboratory experiments, and even in the difference in time experienced by a person at sea level compared to someone at the top of a mountain. It's also worth noting that time dilation doesn't mean that time feels different to different observers. Whether you're orbiting a black hole or lounging at home, a minute will always feel like a minute to you. Time dilation is about the measurement of time, not the perception of it. Lastly, there's the misconception that time dilation could allow us to live forever, simply by finding a place where time moves slower. While it's true that a clock in a slower time frame would tick longer, it doesn't mean that biological processes would also slow down. Aging, unfortunately, remains inevitable. Time dilation is not a portal to the past, but a fascinating insight into the flexible nature of time itself. Ready for a surprise? Time dilation might be happening to you right now. Yes, indeed, this strange and intriguing phenomenon isn't just limited to the realms of high-speed spaceships or gargantuan black holes. It can occur anywhere, even right here on our very own planet Earth. Let's think about it. Time dilation, in essence, is the difference in elapsed time measured by two observers. This difference can occur due to the effects of gravity and velocity. Now, these two factors aren't just present in the far reaches of the cosmos. They're right here, influencing our daily lives. Consider this. Imagine two clocks, one placed atop a mountain and the other at sea level. Now, due to the difference in gravitational pull, the clock on the mountain actually runs faster than the one at sea level. This, my friends, is time dilation at work. It's subtle, almost imperceptible, but very real. And it's not just mountains. Even the speed at which you move can affect time. The faster you go, the slower time moves. So, technically, if you're in a fast-moving vehicle, time for you is passing slightly slower than for someone standing still. So, next time you're running late, maybe you can just blame it on time dilation. Time dilation, a concept that challenges our everyday perception of time. This is where we've arrived after our journey through the warp and weft of time's fabric. Let's take a moment to gaze back at the path we've traversed. We've delved into the science behind time dilation, a theory born out of Einstein's mind, a cornerstone of his theory of relativity. We learned that time is not absolute, but relative, and can be stretched or squashed depending on the speed one is traveling or the gravity one experiences. In essence, the faster you go or the closer you are to a massive object, the slower time ticks for you. We've also touched upon real-world examples of time dilation. Those atomic clocks on GPS satellites, remember? They tick faster than their counterparts on Earth due to their speed and distance from the planet's gravitational pull. And what about the astronaut who aged a tad bit slower than his twin brother on Earth? These are not mere science fiction tales, but validated instances of time dilation. We then debunked common misconceptions. Time dilation is not a fantastical concept from a sci-fi movie. It's a reality, albeit one that operates on scales and speeds we don't typically encounter in our daily lives. And no, you can't travel back in time, at least not according to our current understanding of physics. We also shed light on some surprising facts. The effects of time dilation can be measured even in minuscule amounts right here on Earth, and the fact that every GPS device has to compensate for time dilation to provide accurate positioning is a testament to the pervasiveness of this phenomenon. So, we've journeyed from the heart of a black hole to the speed of light, wrestled with the elasticity of time, and grappled with the truth of our universe. And through it all, we've discovered that time dilation, while mind-bending, is a part of our reality. So keep pondering and keep questioning, because the mysteries of time dilation are just one of the many wonders that make our universe an endlessly fascinating place.